And we're back playing this again. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. I hope anybody who's been watching my videos anyway, lately has enjoyed what's cool up? That'll be all. Deviation okay. from our course on Mass Effect 2. And me and, me and Trevor playing some Resident Evil 5. It's been fun. I'm going to continue it, but uh, we really need to get back to some mag mag effect. So I'd like to beat this before I have to go back up to school. <clears throat> I think, did we just, did we just do, okay, we just did Tally Quest. So did I go talk to Tally? I can't remember. Shepard, what can I do for you? Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? My shield fortification will help, but I don't think there is much more I can do. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? <laughs> I'll let you work. Talk to you later. That's weird. Because I've already been talking to Miranda. Let's go talk to Miranda. I mean, I'm going to say this now, although I think I've pretty much made it clear to this point already. Tally is my favorite woman in this game. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. I don't know what this is. If this is stress, or just blowing off steam, or... I care about you, Miranda. And I think you care about me. This is no time for emotional entanglement. You and I know more about the Collectors than anyone. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? Who said anything about love? I'm just trying to get you into bed. <laughs> you ass. Come on, Miranda. You want this. Yeah, I do. So don't die. You promise me, damn it. No I promises. died once already. I don't no plan to do it again. And then he Give goes right outside time. the door and gets sucked out of the airlock. When I'm ready, I'll come by, okay? Okay, so that's pretty much nailed down. Did I just walk through that? <clears throat> Scenes that we've seen at this point, I'm just gonna skip. I mean, I've been doing it already. I don't even know what I'm telling. Okay. According to CSEC reports, 
Karkin was taken into custody, and charges are pending. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty Mouse. criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need. <coughs> we better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Yes. Thank you, Shepard. See, you get the fucking quest. You, you pick up those things from Garrus's mission, and the fucking idiots never show up. Sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You, Mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? <laughs> they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shen Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. But live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. Next time you're in town, never mind. Don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black. A dead in future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must <coughs> carry the weight of our decisions.
I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my least favorite store on the Citadel. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Ah, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't <laughs> handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. <clears throat> I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight, and if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? One second. <clears throat> figure out because I never really I never remember how to do paragon on this part. Because if I tell him to be good cop, that means I have to be bad cop. survives contact with the enemy anyway. I suppose that's true. I won't interfere then. This will be difficult. If we're too gentle with him, his advocate will get past Bailey. If we're too rough, well, we need him alive. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I place my faith in you, Shepard. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. Bailey doesn't know you're here, but he will. After we're done. What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. No, uh, didn't think you had the balls. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. The 
This isn't working, Shepard. We're making no progress. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. Goddamn waste of my time. How about this? You tell us the target, you never see us again. And Bailey drops his price 50%. Yeah? Can I get that in writing? I don't think either of us want this in writing. All right. I ain't going to jail for the tadpole. And I do love a bargain. Joram Talid. Turian running for office on the Zakir Award. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment. The 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... You played me! I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait. You got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? I guess you'll have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name... Elias, I'll... as your legal <coughs> advocate, I advise you to shut the as hell up. As your legal Where advocate, were you five minutes ago? I advise you to held up suck your own cock. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal of Shepard. <laughs> Sergeant, a get a patrol idea. car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. Amon Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. What are people looking at there? <laughs> 